All right, folks, our lever, our lever restored as needed. We got this 79 Trans Am here. Uh, we're going to take it out and drive it. Um, but first, I'd like to show you a few special things about this car. Uh, this is a WS6 car, which is a suspension package. It's also a W72 car, which is a performance package, meaning the engine and transmission. Uh, so this car is all original. All the equipment is as delivered from the factory, numbers matching. So if you come take a look, um, what we've done is, is gone through this whole engine bay, restored every system. AC, power steering, power brakes. Uh, everything works as it should here under the hood and the car runs great. It's got the original Rochester carburetor. Uh, this has all been gone through. Distributor is the same way. It's all been gone through. It is the original unit. The W72 engine has a specific distributor and carburetor that comes with it. Uh, so the, the interesting thing about a W72 engine is they're holed out from a 77 year. Uh, so if you look at the casting numbers on this block, uh, it, it goes with that. These also have a 350 head on the 400 block for a little more compression. Uh, so they have a specific number stamped on the head to show that. Underneath the car, you'll see that the engine has been removed and restored. Same thing with the whole drive line. Transmission has been removed and rebuilt. The suspension on this car, like we said, is specific to a WS6 car. You'll see a larger anti-roll bar in front than normal. Also a different rate coil springs and different shocks, all of which are original and intact on this car. All mechanical systems on this car have been rebuilt. So here you'll see the rebuilt front disc brakes. This is a four-wheel disc car, so there are discs in the rear as well. Uh, another special thing about this car is just how rust-free it is. It's a California car originally, then most of its life in Colorado. Uh, so this thing actually has, in all the usual spots, no rust. Uh, I've never actually seen one that was so clean. So all in these wheel wells is original paint, original undercoat. Uh, all underneath uh, the lower fenders here usually rot out on, the, on these cars normally. This is all original. Another spot on these cars that usually rusts out is these subframe mounts and the subframes themselves. So this car, as you can see, never a hint of rust. Oh, the e-brake works as it should. Everything's been adjusted. This does have an integral e-brake into the rear disc. You can see these rear leaf spring mounts, another usual suspect for rust on this car. All original and all rust free. Now that we're looking at the rear of the car, there's a four wheel disc brake here with that integ integral uh, e-brake we were talking about. You also see the original exhaust all the way back here in the wheel well is still intact and very rust free. Underneath these trunk floor extensions is another usual spot for rust and dirt to collect. This car is absolutely clean as a whistle. Rear differential has all been cleaned up, gone through. You can see here the rear sway bar. Original fuel tanks all been cleaned out. Sending unit has been checked and inspected. You can see how clean this rear body panel is as well. Another place that usually rusts right out. Now we're in the passenger side of the car again showing you the clean wheel well, clean exhaust. All this is unmolested, original stuff. Really hard to find a Trans Am in this condition. So we said this is a W72 car. The exhausts on W72s are specific. It's a dual resonator system with a single pellet style catalytic converter. You can see all that equipment is still here, still intact and in great shape. Incredible to find original exhaust in a car like this. The entire drive line of this car has been gone through. 
drive shaft has been redone, the transmission has been redone. It's a Super T10 in this car, it's only manual transmission available for a W72 car. In fact, all W72s came with a manual. Automatics had the 403 Oldsmobile. New clutch, new pressure plate. The hole in, underneath of this car has been gone through. All right, folks, as we promised, we're going to show you the Trans Am. We're going to take it for a drive. We thought we'd take it out here in the sun to show you with the wheels on, show you how nice that body looks, how rust-free this car is. does have some nicks and scrapes, but it is original. No rust, no bondo. Interior is nice and clean. Everything in there is as it should be. Stock, factory, original. Headliner still intact. AM, FM, stereo, cassette, radio works as it should. This car's got the optional feature of the trunk release. Glove box trunk release. Inside the trunk, you can again see how nice and clean this car is. Stock, well preserved, unmolested. Original Space Saver spare tire, gas charge cylinder to fill it. All the jack equipment is intact. Little ladybug. All those gauges work as they should. This car's got power windows and power locks, which all work as they should. And now we'll take it for a drive, see how it does.
thought this would be <laughs> referral for it. Yeah. Grand Dame is a little bit of that. <laughs> they got the nine up on here. sightseeing. Alright folks, back from the test drive. I figured we'd walk around one more time. 